She was supposed to tell me, wasn't it? I thought I told it to tell me. I'm live. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm here yakking. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is a delight to be back here selling again. And I have some assistance. I don't think she wants to be on camera, but may maybe we'll persuade her next time. It's Sarah. So she's helping me. She's going to make comments and everything. Uh, there you yeah. Hi from the other side of the desk. There you go. There you go. All right, guys. So let's get started. If you've never tuned in before, or even if you have, it's been a little while. So let's do a review. All right. So what I do is I show you a product here. Hang on, hang on. I'm all, I'm all discombobulated, people. I'm discombobulated. All right, hang on, let me switch here. That's the wrong shot. Okay, there we go. All right, oh, now I have to change it so you can see it. Okay, all right. Um, so I show you the item. And if you're interested in that one, you comment with the code. And then my spiffy new friend here will take it and, and we take we take a basket and we put your name on the basket. Yay! And then everything that you want to get goes in that basket until we're all done. Then you send me an email. Shop at JennyKQuilts.com, include your shipping address and phone number and all of that. And then I send you an invoice. You've got 24 hours to pay that invoice. And if not, then your item goes back in line for whoever was next in line. But um, I'm assuming you love it, so you're going to get it. And then I ship it out to you as, as soon as I possibly can. We're having a little storm rolling through, so I'm not exactly sure what's going to be happening. But anyways, I'll get it out to you as soon as I possibly can. So um, if you have any questions, add them in the chat. Sarah will be helping me keep on top of that. And uh, say howdy. Let us know where you're from. I'd love to see everybody. Let's just get started here. All right. So I'm going to do also a pre... Oh, wait. Do I have a way to do... Hang on here. I thought I had a way to... I don't think I have a way to do everything here. Hold... Oh. Oh, is that it? Is that how I do everything? Okay. Let's try it. All right. So here is up there in the corner... That is what's coming next. So be ready. It's exciting. I do have a lot of really fun stuff. I'm not sure if this is the way I want to do it. I don't think I want to preview. Okay. I don't think I want to do that. Okay, guys. I feel like I want to look at you. And <laughs> so much more expressive. All right. Hello, Gwen. Yay. Gwen, is this my Gwen from Canada? My Gwen from Canada, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this first one is JCO31, JCO31, and this is part of the Jenny Byer collection. This is a wonderful orange. I mean, I'm, not, I'm always showing you guys, right? You need more orange. Add more orange in there. This is a nice orange, orangey reds, and that is JCO31, JCO31. 31. Well, hello, Michelle. Oh my gosh, it's been forever. Uh, I live close. You can pick up their fabrics. Yes, yes. So that's, if you're in the Denver metro area, absolutely. You can swing by. We'll have a little chit chat. Some espresso. I don't have any espresso. We'll have espresso if you bring espresso. But we'll hang out. You can pick it up here. You can see the studio and see where the magic happens. <laughs> but absolutely. So you don't have to worry about shipping if you come and get it. Absolutely. Good, good call there. All right. Yay. Okay. Oh, thank you for, for answering mm -hmm. that there. All right. And I'm going to keep stacking up here. Oh, yes, you guys. And I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you. I have one more. One more left of the Schmetz little gift bag. It has, uh, it was a bunch of promo stuff that chefs gave me. The class fire bug. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's hilarious, Michelle. When when I was teaching a class with Michelle, all of a sudden there was like smoke and sparks and and um, a wire went dead. And everybody was like, what the heck is going on? And she she burned a part of the cord with her iron. <laughs> Never a dull day. Never a dull day. So this has a little packet, little information, needles, because who don't need needles, right? You always need to change those needles and a little guide and everything. But so, for 
first order up. This is my last grab bag. You got this. Okay, so that's there. That's ready to go. So this one is also part of the Ginny Buyer collection. And as we know, she retired last year. There will be no more. She's my color hero, guys. She's one of my color heroes. This is JCO30. JCO30. It's one yard. And it's, again, the leafy designs. And these would be fantastic together for some kind of fall quilt or something that you just need that little touch of orange. Because I've showed you lots of ways you can use orange. A uh, little touch of orange that's going to be right there. Okay. Next up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is R1, and I'm going to show you a whole little teacher series that I previewed in the video uh, yesterday. This is R1. It's these fantastic, fun little tickets, and it is three quarters of a yard, seven fifty, and you can see it's just so so sweet, so cute. This just makes me think of school and getting your tickets at school, and that's going to go right in line with the other ones that I have here super cute. This is N1 and I've got one yard of it and it has, see it has those classic things that we all used to write <laughs> right on. This just takes me back to elementary school, my goodness. And um, it's just really sweet. It would be a wonderful gift for teachers that you know, uh, homeschoolers, preschool teacher, whatever, whatever. This would be a sweet little thing that you can make a gift. It's getting to be that time, isn't it? Thank a teacher time. And then this is also part of it, R10, R10. Let's see, and these are from Moda, I forgot. This is kind of an assortment here. This is School Days by American Jane Patterns. And I think this is also by American Jane Patterns. It's a different, it's a different set. But you have, um, let me see, we've got one yard here. I think you have, yes, you have several different patterns in this one yard, several different designs here. Really nice, a very cute red with the numbers and the letters and all that business. We try to fold this up so it's not a total disaster. So that's also part of the school stuff. And I'll tell you guys this too, if you are, Seeing something that doesn't get picked up and you're watching this later, by all means. If you're interested in it, you comment it, let me know, because we'll work it out. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be stalking this for the next couple of days, definitely, because I wanna I wanna take care of you there. This is L2. L2. And this reminds me of oh gosh, do I have I might even have one right now here. L2 is um it reminds me of composition book covers, doesn't it? It's just like that. So, oh, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be meta? If you, <laughs> if you took a composition book cover and you covered it with this composition book cover. <laughs> okay, maybe not. That is L2. That's L2. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you. And this is L1. It's not actually part of the American Jane, but I have to tell you guys, this is so, it's so adorable. All those little letters, mm, come on now. That's, I, it goes with the set. So that is L1, L1. All right, I'm sliding those over. Next, we're gonna go, it's, you guys, this is going so much more faster, so much more faster, so much faster <laughs> with Sarah here to help me. So, yay, Sarah. Hey, Virginia. I'm here just figuring out how to chat. Yay! I'm glad you're here, Virginia. And you guys tell tell people where you're from there. Because Gwen and Virginia, I'm not sure if you've been on with Michelle, so so you guys make friends. You'd be great friends. Okay. Next I have a few patriotic ones. These are also American Jane. This one is. Um, this one is not, but I mean they they're so Sorry, to me, these two just, just say, we want to be friends. This is B10. I have a half a yard of this, a very cute little blue and white check with little flowers here. And then R9, again, a half a yard. It is Lorraine by American Jane. I also have a little stack of pre-cuts with this, two and a half inch pre-cuts. If you're interested in that, let me know. Pipe in, let's say, uh, the um, Lorraine pre-cuts. And I, I, we can go grab those. They're over there. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, it's like being in two places at once, you guys. She's so helpful. All right, so that's B10 and B, um, B10 and R9. B10 and R9. 
And here, yes, here's the little Lorraine pre-cut set. So, so somebody started to make a little, a little um, hexagon, as you can see. But this is more of the Lorraine, and they changed their mind about doing the hexagons, which is totally understandable. I get that. I get that. But then this little set is um, CW7. So if you want to get that little set that goes with that one, and I think, I just think this would go with it so fine. Be, those would look great together. Um, yeah, just comment with those and we will add them in there. Yay. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now these two are patriotic. They go together. B12 and B13. B12. Always get your B12 vitamins. I'm just saying. I don't think there is a B13, but it was a fine age to be, I guess. Okay. Um, lo love the cheese. Oh, yeah. Telemook cheese. Yes. Yep. That's right where she is. Okay. Okay. Um, B13. So if there's somebody, if there's somebody that, you know, let me know if they've asked, okay. you know, if I need to yeah. chime in and talk mm -hmm. to them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is so fun. Okay, so B12 and B13. I'm going to expand this a little bit more. This is obviously a go with. It has those things. If you're doing the Quilts of Valor types of quilts, this is a great, great choice. Look at that. The blocks is, blocks is, blocks and Uncle Sam's and stars. This would be just wonderful. And it's just a little bit, not overwhelming, but kind of an old fashioned patriotic one that's two thirds of a yard and there's one yard of this one. So there we go, it's a patriotic. Okay. Oh, she's even setting them up to so organized. You guys, you would not believe the, the chaos that I leave this room in <laughs> when I'm doing it myself. It's like slide, slide, slide. All right, now we ready? We got some pet stuff. It's Clifford, the big red dog. The big red dog is Clifford. All right, I have two cuts of this, um, R10 and R2, half a yard and one yard, and then a dog Clifford that's scatter. That's the actual term. It's a scatter. They're scattered all over. That's R4. And then the wording for it, like play, they go make friends. And that is a half a yard and that's Y5. So you're making that little doggy bed. You're making that gift for somebody who um, takes care of your pet or you just love your dog or your kids or something. Any of those would be a great choice for that. And this is the, this is the stripe that would be good Nice for borders, nice for sashing. Be really good. Very cute together. So that is all of the Clifford. We have R10, R2, R4, and Y5. Why? Because we like you. I see pillowcases. You see pillowcases. <gasps> pillowcases. You're absolutely right. I see pillowcases too now. I see pillowcases. Oh, you guys, this is going so quickly with her hair. <laughs> Okay, so these are from Deb Strain, and I have a whole set of these that all go together. These are half yard cuts, all from Deb Strain, all from the same collection, I believe. Well, this might be different, but it looks so perfectly. Love, but no, that's a Deb Strain as well. And so we have B16, R11, A1, and Y7, and that is the whole set. I'm gonna get this one in here. This is a very cute little letters. These are adorable. I actually snagged some of this collection for myself, for, for, the, for the grands, the grandkids. And then to go along with it, I've got A2, because you always need a little orange, right? And lime green, because lime green is a neutral and I can prove it. Okay, so this is Y11, and these, these are the prints that look really nice with it. W4 and Y11. A is for apple, B is for bird. Look at the sweet little cherries and cupcakes. Mmm, adorable, adorable. So like I said, I, I grabbed some of this for myself. I did, I did. Oh my gosh, we're, we're gonna blitz through this, my friend. We are just, we are, this is awesome. So helpful. So super helpful. Oh. All right, Michelle, thank you, thank you. I'll put those on top of the stack there. And Michelle, since you're the first order, you get the, you get the little goodie bag. Yay. Okay, these are separate. They don't really go with anything. And 
Um, this one especially, I will cut into pieces, okay? I mean, not a lot of little pieces. I'll cut them into one yard pieces for you. And, and the yardage that I'm gonna show you here in a minute, I will also cut those into one yard pieces for you as well. All right, this is R12. There's a total of five yards available. They're $10 a yard. This is a, um, this is Sandra Clemens for Michael Miller. And Sandra Clemens, she's kind of an up and coming designer. Uh, she actually lives here in the Denver area. So I should go over and see if, I should go talk to her. Okay, all right. Uh, but it's super cute and there's a lot of, lot in this colorway. But this would be an adorable little backing. <gasps> a little dress. Oh, pillowcases. Again, with the, now I'm, now pillowcases are on my brain. That's all I'm thinking about. All right, so that's R12, and I will cut this. There's a total of five yards. If you want to cut, I can absolutely do that. Oh, Sarah says one yard. <laughs> okay, Sarah, you got it. <laughs> Let's put that in a separate pile there. Okay, this, so I love to do striped bindings or striping in the sashing, something like that. It may, like in the cornerstones of the sashing, it really makes it pop. Or even in the sashing itself, with solids in the cornerstone, they can really brighten up and make something really interesting. This is from Marcus Fabrics. Blue drama. Blue, who doesn't need more drama? I do not need more drama. But here we go. Blue drama is what it's called. And there is a yard and three-fourths. It is B3. One yard, three-fourths, B3. Okay. Oh, Sarah, you're awesome. Oops, Dawn's got, um, did Gwen got A2? Yep. Awesome. Look at she's Applause for Sarah. Another okay. <laughs> this one is cute. This is B10. B10, there's two and three quarters yards here. This would be an adorable little backing for someone, but look at all these cute little cakes. Look at all those, like a little birthday quilt. Again, I'm seeing pillowcases. Pillowcases everywhere. <gasps> a little cute. A little cute. What did you say? Curtain valance. Oh, a little curtain. Mm, adorable. Adorable. Oh, <gasps> dollhouse stuff. Oh my gosh, Sarah. I love that idea. Okay, let me put that on. There. But that is B10. Oh, the cake stuff. And I have, I have, I have six more fabrics to show you guys, and that's it. And then, and then it's on to, it's on to bigger stuff. So usually, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest here. Usually I plan out this list, right? And it's as much as I think I can get through before my voice gives out and I want to fall over. And we're just cranking through this. I am, I am thrilled. I am thrilled. We're doing great. Okay. This, these two, some of my absolute favoritest colors here. I got B1 and B2. There's two yards here and a yard and five-eighths there. This is a um, aqua and blue linen, a linen look, linen texture. These are from, let me see, Timeless Treasures, and I don't know the particular collection, but I think they're just, they're just lovely. Yeah, both from Timeless Treasures of Soho. So I, I, I don't know, I don't know the particular collection, but they're really super cute. Um, this is a very, a very strong turquoise and um, ocean, ocean themes uh, in anything like that, a B1 and a B2. Wait, yes. Somebody wants this already. So we want, the, which one? Both, both of them. Both of them. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. We're off. Okay. Next, I have some stuff on bolts, and I'm going to show you this way because I think you'll get a better idea. This one, the first one up here is MCB1. Can you see that? MCB1, and it's $6.99 a yard. That's it, $6.99 a yard, people. That's, you can't get better. So, any cute little, now pillowcases, valances, pajamas, whatever. <laughs> but it's super cute. Um, UFO, UFO style stuff. This is from, this is from Michael Miller Fabrics. It is called Space Treks, and this pattern is out of this world. Okay, sorry, that's pretty cheesy. <laughs> but there'll be more, I'm sure. Okay, so yeah, it's a navy blue with an alien scatter 
would be the would be the term there. Great for backing. Great for I mean, just so cute, so cute. I will cut this. There are I think there's like at least eight yards here. I will cut this, but it would also be it's the right scale for a decent backing too. So if you want it for a backing, it is a price that cannot be beat. It's very very good. So that is again. I'll repeat the number. M M C B one. M C B one. And then we'll get that to you. Oh, Gwen, Gwen already got two yards of the phone. Yes, you did, Gwen. I hope I hope you used it. Where's the finished quilt now? I gotta see it. She wants to get. I will get to Oh, she yards. wants to get. All I'll right. Set up, set it up against the That's good. Okay. Wonderful. Next up. This is see it there. Um, MCL4, MCL4, $6.99. Again, MCL4, $6.99. And it is also the same on a dark background. This is a black background. The other one before was navy. But it's all, it's a truck scatter. Uh, construction, construction equipment scatter um, all across there. So again, same thing. Oh, look, I'm dropping things. Same thing. Cute, cute little uh, pillowcases. Lances, pillows, uh, jammies. I mean, come on. It's adorable. It's adorable. It's also from Michael Miller, and it's just super cute. Super cute. So that's MCL4. MCL4. You might need more of the quilts are done, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. Next up. This is cut in, it's in some two yard segments, so I can break it down two yards. I might be able to figure out other stuff, but it, they may be cut in the middle. So, oh yeah, just like that one before, I will cut it down one yard segments um, and up. So let me know. And then this is MCW2, MCW2. And it is only, I mean, check out that price there. I want to make sure you can see it there. Um, it is 548. 548. Striped borders, striped binding, a uh, little stripe interest in there. Could you see that on little pinwheels or half square triangles with little stripies on one side? It'd be so cute. It'd be so cute. And that is MCW2. It is from Michael Miller. And it's all, if you look at it closely, it's all animal stuff. So you have like, there's kind of like a little, if my children the right side, there's like a little snaky thing here. And it's just really cute. Really cute. So it kind of looks like snakes, but not, but not really, not really. So that is M, MCW, make sure you can see it. There we go. All right. MCW2 and 548. I'm not sure, you know, you could use this for part of a backing, uh, but I don't know. I, to, so I'll tell you this. One time I used something that was way too busy for a backing. And I'm telling you guys, I put that on there. It was like, oh, mistake. And I thought, oh, this is gross. I don't like it. It makes me dizzy to look at. So, but this might be just perfect for a backing. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I th Sarah, Sarah approves. There we my, go. My Christmas quilt has red and green striped back. Ooh. Striped. I know I love this. Now I love this. All right. So again, that is MCW2. MCW2. Okay. All right. One more with the yardage. One more with the yardage. This is MCW3. MCW3. 548 people per, yeah, that's per yard, not inch. 548 per yard. And this is so sweet. So sweet. I'm going to pull it up there. Let's see. Set the bolts aside for Jenny to cut. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you, Sarah. So this is like, it's like a family visit to the zoo. And you have, you had the mommy and the daddy, and you've got kids, and you've got polar bears, and aardvarks, and penguins, and lions, and all kinds of stuff. It's just so cute. So cute. And there is a lot. I will cut it in one yard segments, but that is MCW3. MC, see that again, real clear, there we go. MCW3 for 548. Pillowcases, little, little things, and oh, you could fussy cut the centers of those and put them on the centers of blocks and have other color blocks. I mean, it's I just. Sp I spy quilt. Oh, an I spy quilt. Yes. I spy. 
Yes. Oh, you are so, you have so many ideas. All right. So that is the end of the yardage. Ta-da. That stripe would go good with that. Yes, the stripe would go well with that. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Okay. So now I have three, and Sarah's making stacks here. Now I have, I have three quilt things to show you guys. And then after that is going to be the AccuQuilt Go Me that I previewed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, the first one that I have is a sample, uh, kind of a practice. I'm learning, new, doing new things, and it is, let me make sure we get it, BGY13, BGY13. And it is the size of it, the runner, it is, it's weirdly shaped. It's 12 and a half by almost 70. 12 and a half, oh, that's wrong. 12 and a half by 70. And I'm just gonna do a whole scroll here so you can see it. It's green and blue log cabins with a yellow center. And I loved, loved, loved all these fabrics. And check out the stripy binding. See, the stripy binding. And I did a, um, I used gold and uh, I used metallics to quilt it, but look at this, what I did on the binding there. Can you guys see that real good? Kind of see that? Might be a little bit hard to pick up, but I did um, a decorative stitch with the gold in the binding. So it's quilted with silver and green and gold. Silver and green and gold. And that it would be a cute little runner, a nice little gift. You need to get a little gift for somebody. Or if you know somebody who's looking for a quilt gift, pass pass the word along. And that is, again, BGY13. BGY13. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> this is one that I call my car seat quilt because it's just the right size to throw on the kid in the car seat and you don't have to worry about it. You, don't, you can throw it in the washer when it needs to be washed and all that. And it is... Da -da -da. It is BW16, BW16. It measures, da -da -da, there we go, 37 by 45. And I'm just gonna show you here. I quilted all of it myself. I did the quilting myself. So you get a little variety of textures in there. It was quilted with blue thread. There's nothing fancy. I mean, well, this it's my own machine binding technique, so that, that is very fancy, but <laughs> but um, just a simple binding, little polka dots, which I thought was so cute, right? I love bindings that add spark and interest to the whole thing. But that is the, so it's all quilted and bound, ready to just go in the car. And you can see, you can see, it's just the right size to throw on the kid to cut off their legs or something like that, protect them from the sun, something like that when they're in the car. So that is, that is another option. Okay, and I saved these. I have a couple others of them, and I, I've just given them away as gifts. If you have, you know, you have that um, baby shower that's coming up. This size, you just throw it in the car, I just throw it in the bag, and you're, you're good to go. Okay, last one I have is, is really big. It's really big, and I, I showed it at the end. <clears throat> it is, I'll just take this over and help me, and mm -hmm. I'll see where the little code thing is. Hmm. It was on here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that part up. This is this is a design. I think it was something about mother, dear mom, or something like that, by Robin Pickens for Moda. It is BGA. Can you see that there? BGA three, and it was professionally quilted by my friend Tracy, who does a fantastic job. But I'm gonna show you this. This is a version, and I'm just gonna kind of fold it as we go along. Mm -hmm. This is a version of a Jelly Roll Race quilt, but I have a technique, you see that center part right in here, that's called waves, so you can still put it together really quickly, and it still looks super cute. So again, I just quilted in a really, in a, in a meander pattern all over, but that's this one. These are samples that I've used. So this was featured in a Moda uh, bake shop, um, one that we did a few years ago. And so you can go there, check out Moda Bake Shop, and, and this is the one, this is the one. So like I said, I have to keep things moving on because I'm 
reaching some maximum density here in my house. But that is BGA3. BGA3. Can you see that? Okay. All right. All right. Then, last one. I'll drape it over that, I guess. Last thing. Oh, are you guys are excited? I'm very excited for this one. Okay. Move it over and get it. Last one. The Go Me. AQG Go Me for 89.50. So it includes the pattern booklet that comes with it. Yeah, it, it's so I've included all the default stuff that com comes with it when you buy this. It's the whole set. This is a six by six cutting block, and here are two six by six dies to get you started. And then, of course, the pattern book covers different things to do with those dies and how to make it and how to use it. So it's a little bit like that. I have never, I've opened this box, but I haven't used this. So it's brand new in box. Now, if I looked at the price online last yesterday before I even set this up and this, you know, I'm going to, will that help to put it under there? Okay. So I looked up the line uh, online yesterday to see how much it would be. AQ, um, it, sorry, Accu Quilt is having them on sale right now for ninety-eight, but this one is eighty-nine fifty. So this is the best deal you're going to get from somebody who hasn't used it at all. And so yeah, so that's that's what I have here. That's what I have here. Oh yeah, Gwen, I love I love my Accu Quilt. It does help with so many things, doesn't it? This is a great one for somebody who wants to get started. It gives you a chance to try it without a huge commitment. And there's lots of blocks that you can make with this. If you go on the AC, the Accu Quilt, I see one saying ACQ, that's the guild. That's not the right side. If you go on the Accu Quilt website, they will show you this and the different patterns that go with it and all of the dies that you can use with this one. So just because it's small doesn't mean you're going to be super limited. There's going to be a ton you will be able to do. So that's that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I cannot even believe it. How that time just flew. It just flew. All right. And I got through my whole list. Sarah, you're brilliant. You're brilliant. Okay. We. Uh, oh, yeah. It makes great HSTs. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, so anything else that you guys want to see again? Last chance. And I'll pause for a moment because I know we have about a 10 second delay from when I say it to when you get it. All right. And I'll just yak a little bit here. So Michelle, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you've ordered before, but anybody who's ordering today for the first time, please email me at shop at jennykquilts.com. And, um, oh yeah, I've been scrolling it across the bottom here. I will switch to the scroll here. We'll, we'll just put these under here for interest. Uh, yeah, and you, you'll send, send me your email. Obviously, I'll get the email. <laughs> email shop at jennykquilts.com. Include your shipping address and your phone number. I will send you an invoice, and we have 24 hours to get that all sorted out. And then I ship the stuff off to you. Like I said, there is stormy weather coming in, so I don't know how much, <laughs> I don't know how quickly everything will be getting out, but my goal is to always have it out within 24 hours of receiving payment on the invoice. So there we go. Anything else that anybody wants to see? Just checking, just checking. Yeah, and I say include your shipping address because some people, um, sometimes there's like a different address that's better to ship to. So, you know, so y you know that if you have that situation, you're aware, so you'll send me that. Okay, um, yay! All right, uh, I think that's it, you guys. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was so fast. Two full baskets and piles of stuff. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, so um, if you guys know another quilter, and if you're liking this and enjoying this, please share, tell your friends, and yeah, yeah, do that and 
could get people out there more interested in this, I would so, so appreciate it. In fact, that's one of the biggest things you can do to support me right now. I'm trying to build up my YouTube channel. So the more likes, comments, subscribes, um, all of that stuff, I, I can't even thank you enough. It's just amazing. It does wonders for me here on, on my YouTube channel. So you guys, thank you for tuning in. Oh, let's see. When is my next sale? All right, we got a couple questions. Next sale is next week. Same time? Yes, okay. are you ready yes, for that? I'll yep. Triple check my calendar. Okay, yes. okay. We think it's going to be the same time next week. I will let everybody know, of course, in the newsletter. So, yeah, that's where you get all the heads up for this. You'll get the preview video first in the newsletter, and you'll know exactly when it is and the links to be able to connect to the live and, and everything like that. And uh, Michelle would like to see the second quilt again, which was... That was this one. Yay! All right, Michelle, this is BW16, and it's just, oh, and I will let you know, too, I did not, this is not piece, this is cheater cloth. It was for me to practice my, my um, machine quilting on it, so I didn't do the piecing on that, just so you're aware. But it's a cute little cloth, it's got the cute little polka dotty binding. And like I said, I, I think it's just the perfect, uh, oh. I was upside down the whole time. And I think it's, I, I, again, I call it a car seat quilt because it's just the right size. Throw over the car seat. You don't have to worry about it. If it gets Cheerios on it, it's okay. It's okay. It's washable. And yeah, you could just love it and use it up like that. Gwen has a question. If we can hold her fabric until the sale next week. Too. Yes. Yes, we can. Absolutely, Gwen. So yes, because Gwen is in Canada, we have figured out the best amount to ship each time so it's best for her when she's picking it up in custom so if that is your issue too let me know i absolutely love working with you and i'll keep stuff for next time yeah that's absolutely fine not a problem gwen we will do it we will do it all right anything else especially if she wants more than two yards of that fabric yes yes yeah it'll probably be more than two yards all right, guys, so I think that's about it. If you have anything else or you decide, mm, I think I do want that, and circle back, by all means, put it in the comments, or you could email me directly, shop at jennykquilts.com, and let me know what you want. I have it, I'm so, we're so organized this time. I've got it all written down. And so I just go there and look it up and find it, and we'll be good to go. All right, ladies, quilters, thank you, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you tuning in and your comments and participating and your purchases. And a special thank you to Sarah. That's a round of applause. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was really... That's like from high school, man. That's really okay. Um, so, so appreciate Sarah being here and I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. <laughs>